Hey guys, this is Freemium Poppy. God bless you, you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am. Welcome back to Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. So Skullboy and I, or Skullbot, excuse me, and I were talking and um, we have considered to, well, we decided just to continue on doing the high rank key quests. Um, we're recording this right after last episode, actually. We were going to um, farm some armor to make it a little easier, but then after uh, careful thinking consideration, we have decided, eh, we're just going to continue. So yeah, we're doing the seven star key quests, and we have quite a few. In order to do, we got to do the uh, the Grim Tidings, which is going to be Slay in an Actor. We got to do Teostra Tangle. We got to do Stormfront, and then the last one is called Fleet Action. After we do that, we're going to have a advanced quest. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to start actually with... Um, and we'll just get the... We'll get the Dire and Moran out of the way. Just so we don't got to deal with it. Once this is out of the way, it's going to make it a little more easy. Skullbot's doing something. Oh, what do he do? He's like... Oh, and he's gone. Uh, he probably went uh, back to his room to actually get something that he needs. So, yeah. And here we go. This is the armor he's using as well. Anyway, time to keep going. Get the uh, Darren Moran out of the way so we don't got to deal with it again. About time he made it. We got a Darren Moran situation. It's bad. We've already seen the cutscene, so we don't got to watch it again if we really don't want to. But we will if we have to. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep. Just to come prepared. Now, I don't think Feeling Weakener actually, um, affects the Darren Moran, so I don't know why I ate for it. Probably should have thought ahead, but I, I didn't. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be nothing. We actually gotta go and, um... We gotta get some, uh, ballista ammo. And the, uh, the subquest is to break the horn. Climb it! Yeah, you know what? Why not? We'll get some materials. Dragonite ore. And Darren's, uh, Darren's store or whatever. Nope. Be careful, because this guy can knock you off if you're not, uh, careful. And I believe there's one on this side. Man, that thing is huge. Dragonite ore. And another Dragonite ore. Okay. Well, our weapon does absolutely nothing. Oh, that was close. We do got an anti-dragon bomb, which makes it pretty nice. We're just waiting for a skull bot to actually destroy this thing. Because we can't really do a whole lot here. We can do that. We're still on! I'm joking, we're not on. There's Skullbot beside us. Okay.
Man, that thing's huge. Uh, where's that ammo? We got five out of ten. Seven out of ten. Eight out of ten. I think a good thing about the, um, the ballista and the, uh, cannon ammo, actually, is that when you go, when you use it... Oh! Uh, I thought it was gonna... Okay, yeah, that hit the cannonball. I mean, the cannon, excuse me. One thing, one thing good about the ammo is that it does a set amount of damage, so it doesn't matter what you, um, how weak you are or how strong you are, you're gonna be doing a set amount of damage to it. Makes it pretty nice to, uh, have. Come on, come on, come on, and fire! Beautifully done. Oh. It's gonna do something. It's either gonna ram us. Yeah, it's gonna ram. And your ship does have a hull integrity, so the more the Darren Moran attacks you, the more um, your ship will take damage. There we go. Where are you? Yeah, I'm gonna get cannonball ammo. Probably the best thing we can do right now. Go again. This thing's taking damage, all right. I hope you're enjoying this series. I know it's a little bit different from my normal series that I usually do. Well, what's normal? I literally play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for a year. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. I've really enjoyed uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate so far. My goal is to either show off every single monster or just to beat the game in its entirety. Like the story and everything. Not everything, everything, because that'd take thousands of hours. But, you know, you get what I'm saying. Beat the story, uh, the single-player story, and also the multiplayer story. Which, shockingly, there is one. We gotta break that horn. Climb it! Climb it! Go, 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 go! No! Well, looks like it's us to try and do damage. Not that we're gonna do a whole lot. This is a high rank one. I mean, we are using high rank equipment, but not good enough equipment. Can we get any more? No, we can't. Okay. I guess this time we use the anti-dragon bomb. There we go. Wow, we took a lot of damage from that. I mean, but we did a lot of damage too. Hunting Gong is ready for use. I'm gonna actually sleep in the bed because we lost a lot of health. It's currently, uh, 10.38 at night. Ooh, I like the map in the background. That's cool. That is the World of Monster Hunter in the background that you see in the map there. On the right hand of the map, or excuse me, on the very, very left, that island that you see right there, like, that's right above our insect glaive, is, at, or right next to the A button on the screen that you see there, is actually the New World. On the bottom... Right is, I think, where Kumura Village in Monster Hunter Rise is, or around that area. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, did we climb on? No, I thought we'd be able to climb on. Skullbot's on there. I was, I was wrong. 
Maybe I can actually use my insect glaive to jump on. Maybe. Or I can actually be useful to the group and, you know, go for the, uh, the break of the horn. Because that is a lot of money we can get there. I thought we could do it. I was wrong. Oh well. Climb! Climb! The sandstorm is coming! I'm a weird human. I know I am. I'm a weird human being. <clears throat> and fire! Oh, it was a perfect hit. I'll take what I can get with the, uh, with the really good shots. Oh, we missed that one. Of course, I say something like that, and then we miss. Why wouldn't we? That cannonball hit. Okay. Well... Darren Ran is definitely taking a lot of damage here. Too bad it won't go to the front. Oh, it's gonna ram us! Skullbot, you are really low in health. Here, I'm gonna give you some items. Schoolbot fainted. R.I.P. Well, something happened right there. Seven ballista ammo. Eight. Oh, and it's going to the other side, or it's going to the front. I think it's going to go ahead to the front. No, it's entering the final showdown. Okay, I'll take it. Perfect anime stance. Oh yeah, there we go. Good thing I got the uh, easy barrel bombs. Gonna make it pretty fun to use. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I don't know. Just get close enough. Oh, that was so much damage. Oh, that was a lot of damage. If we're not careful, we're gonna faint. And I don't wanna faint right now. Not with how close we are to defeating this thing. We can climb it. Uh, no we can't. And we'll go after it. Well, looks like we're just stuck waiting, honestly. Well, and we get red. Oh, that took half our health away. And run, 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 go, go, go. Ah, that was close. Okay, I'm running back here. I don't want to risk that. It's 
So yeah, uh, get better equipment. Don't be like me and just rely on other people for help. Because that's what I'm doing right now, and it's not fun. I mean, it's not a bad thing either to actually have people who are willing to help you, but... This is like from a point of view from you get someone else's help. Oh, Skullbot, you are playing a dangerous game right now. Skullbot, Skullbot, Skullbot! Oh, he fainted again. Oh! Wow, we missed that. Okay. Come on. Just land. Just land. Walk over here. Get right in the way. There we go. Fire! Oh, we missed. I thought we could get a perfect hit, but we didn't. Oh, did we slay it? We slew it. We slew it. Yay! I'll take the materials. The Brutal Horn Plus. I mean, that wasn't too bad. 16 minutes in. I guess, anyway. Honestly, I didn't faint this time. Snowboy fainted twice. It feels good, man, not to have to be the one to faint. Diamond Ray and Carapace. Okay. Another Carapace. Another Carapace. One more. Oh, look at that. In sync. And another Carapace. Okay, perfect. Beautifully done. Okay, what do we get here? A lot of really good items. An ancient shard, I'll take that. And, ooh, a Vulcanist. I don't take that. We don't actually gotta... Wow, we... Dude, we don't have to actually craft that now. That's awesome. I'm happy about that. America's level 21 now. Okay. Uh, we need... Oh, I can get rid of these pickaxes. I don't need them either. Uh, I can get rid of the well-done stakes too. And I'll take the mega potions. And I'm actually gonna go to the, uh, Viporium and get my... items. Multiple items. It's all been fulfilled. We'll view the inbox. Look at all them. So many of them. I'll take it. All the god bugs as well. Beautifully. Beautifully done. Over a hundred thousand, uh, I think, points. And a lot of honey. Okay, place a request. Uh, how many can we get? A lot. Okay. Uh, we only got 2,000 points. Never mind. I'll take more honey, though. And... I believe I want to go for some, uh... uh what do I want to go for? I don't know. We'll go for more, uh, Dragon Toad Tools. 3,000 points, but it's worth it. Alright, time to head back to the Gathering Hall. There we go. Okay. Time for the next quest, which is going to be... Grim Tidings. These monsters are going to be new that you haven't seen before, so... I wish you the best of luck, and enjoy the hunts! Feeling weakener. My ears itchy too. Excuse me for that. 
You know, give me a minute. I actually want to go get some saltines. Well, that's cool. You know, I've defeated the um, the ice variant of this, or the ice version of this guy named uh, Yukanlos, but I don't think I've ever battled uh, an uh, Egnactor before. Oh, the cool drink doesn't. No, the cool drink works. We just have to get up here. Everything burns. I got my saltines also. Hmm. Man, he's cool. So I believe an actor came out in, um, oh yeah, he has a move that is like a sonic roar. Uh, give me a second. Trying to find something right here. So you'll have to bear with me just a moment. Alright, there we go. It was introduced first in Monster Hunter 3. No. No, wrong one. Sorry, I'm trying to find this. Give me a minute. Aknak door. Okay. Okay, give me a second. A cantor. A cantor. Okay. Um, a cantor was came out in. I it was like Gen two, right? Oh, so much damage. I should be paying attention, but I'm not. Okay, one more. One more. Okay. Came out in Freedom 2. Okay. So yeah, this monster came out in Freedom 2. Also, we got Dragon Blade. So we're gonna have to deal with that soon. And these, uh, I believe this monster will be in the Caravan Quest. So it's gonna be fun to fight when we do get to it. Okay. I want to. Oh, we got defense down too. Yikes, that's no fun. Man, that tail has a really wide range. Skullbot actually got to uh, sharpen his weapon. That eyeball is really creepy.
Oh, that roar is like one shot us. Yikes. Welcome to uh, Monster Hunter. Uh, other people carrying me through the game simulator. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not bad at the game. I'm not good, but I'm not bad either. Where are we exactly? The Ingle Isle, okay. That's what I thought, I just wanted to remember. I wanted to make sure, excuse me. I mean, I guess that's what the adamant seeds are for. For the defense down that we get. Mm-hmm. Oh. And he's underground. Whoa. So it looks like you can attack him while he comes up from the lava. I want to mount you. Was that me? Probably not. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he did it. I mounted him. Let's go! The guy can barely move. But he sure takes a while before you can uh, attack him again. Don't thrash around yet. Don't thrash around yet. Don't thrash around yet. Thank you also for the double horn, uh, Mocha and Merrick. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna run. I don't like that. What's a subquest? Wound the head. That wasn't wounding the head? So, it looks like the goal is not to stay in the middle, but stay on the sides. What a cool looking monster. It's a really, really big area, too. Like, it's a really big map. No, Skullbot, why? I got Essence right from his bum. Oh, okay. That goes for the head? Did it just... push on the ground and it went up? I guess it did. That's gonna kill... It didn't. Okay. <clears throat> I'll take it. Excuse me, my word, my throat's bothering me a little bit. It's gonna do a sonic roar. I'm guessing. Yep. I'm starting to learn its moves a little bit. Maybe not much, but a little bit I am. He 
He's gonna come out on the other side of the arena. This is a really, really cool map. I actually, um, I remember playing this map on Generations Ultimate, I believe, a little bit. I fought a Crimson Fatalis, which is a uh, Black Dragon. So, yeah. We actually fought a Fatalis and beat it in uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2. In a lower the ground, so there's that. Okay, I need to heal. One hit and I'm dead. You know, I was actually listening to some music and... Um... I think one of the songs was like, uh, Faith and Power. And, I mean, Faith in uh, Wonder, and it's a really, really good song. It talks about, um, we have to have faith in Christ, and when we call his name, anything is possible when we call his name. And it, it was such a good song. I don't know why. I enjoyed it, though. But we beat it. Well, you know, Skullboy beat it. I just watched And there we go. A Fire Cell Stone. I will take it. Where are you going? Ignactor gem. I'll take it. In Ignactor, excuse me. Why do I keep saying Ignactor? Ignactor is a uh, monster from that came out in a uh, Monster Hunter Three or Try. This monster uh, is different. We also got a Arcabo. Nice. Self-styled ruler has been added to the gallery. Okay, I also got to, um, organize my inventory a little bit. Or my, my, my storage, because I, I need to. It's probably all full of junk. A range? Yeah, wow, look at that. Okay, get you, brought, bring it over there. You can go here, and then you can go here. That can go there. That can go here. Doesn't take too long to organize, just, you know, a little bit. Put that there. There. Actually, we're going to have to put the green one right here. We're getting a lot of new weapons, which I'm pretty happy about. More weapons means better. I think, anyway. Yes, it does. Okay, I'm going to save the game also. Because we made it kind of far, and I don't want to risk, like, dying. Or, like, my game crashing. There we go. Okay. Time to head back and continue on with the uh, key quest, which is going to be uh, Teostra Tangle, I think it's called. 
Aoster Tangle, and Stormfriner. He lived fairy tales. Go talk to him. Okay, what do you gotta say? Ah, hello, Hunter. Sorry I look, if I look distracted. To be truthful, something's been prying on my mind. Please keep this to yourself, but the guild has started, had started getting reports of erratic geological changes. Shifts in the terrain. You follow? We're trying to work out the cause, but no luck so far. The thing is, something really... Something about all this reminds me of that story we used to tell in my village. The one about the snake. It all feels mighty wrong, and I'm having trouble focusing on work, so do me a solid, would you? Get out there and hunt. Hunt something epic. That ought to take about our minds off whatever's going down. Okay. Interesting. So I wonder where that could be. And we'll hunt Naito Ustra. So all these guys you see here, um, I, I don't think it, a Cantor is an Elder Dragon, but um, Teostra and the, the next monster we're going to face are Elder Dragons. So keep that in mind. Okay. I'm gonna need, I'm guessing, a cool drink. And a Tail Oyster is actually an Elder Dragon. It's, uh, I think this monster came out in Freedom? Yeah, I, I think it came out in Monster Hunter Freedom for the PSP. It was a fun monster, or it came out in Monster Hunter Dose on the PlayStation 2. There it is. Teostra. It's literally like a lion griffin. And it is powerful. It does a lot of damage, including fire damage. If I can mount this guy, it's going to be... uh going to make it easier for uh, Skullbot. There we go. Come on, 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 come on. Not too shabby. Look at that thing thrash around. I guess the goal is to win the head. Yeah, it is. Oh, come on. I thought we could have stopped attacking in time, but I was wrong. This thing is enraged already. My word. Uh, you can cut the tail off and you can break the, the wings and the horns. So, yeah. I believe this guy is weak to uh, the water element. Maybe ice. I haven't looked at it, so I, I really don't know. I'm just making a, a wild guess because it's a giant fire monster. So, yeah. I mean, we do have, um... <laughs> we are using... I keep saying it this episode, and maybe last episode, but we do have high rank gear. We're just taking so much damage that it's not really doing a whole lot. Okay. The old dragon treasure. I will take it. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. It's literally going to explode. So anytime you see those, uh, those orange, uh, things, it means it will explode. And we fainted. Yep. Other oh, dragons, man. Don't mess with them. Mmm. So 
Skull Boy's not, uh, Skull Bot's not gonna take any of this stuff. He'll just keep fighting until he faints, and then he'll just go again and again and again. I will use these rations, though. That's gonna be helpful. Mmm. I'm eating saltines right now, and they're really good. The whole reason I'm I'm doing this, like having a skullbot help, is because um when see see the originally see the Kiku and I were gonna be the ones to uh, see the Kiku and I were gonna be the ones to actually go through the game and just enjoy ourselves. But then Skullboy came along and he's like, hey, sure, I'll help you guys. I have no problem helping you. And so we're like, oh, cool. And yeah, turns out he wanted to help us actually play through the game. Including getting through some of the high rank stuff into G rank. So we accepted his help and we've been playing since. And I was talking to him and he, he said... You know, instead of just going and farming for, um... Farming for high-rank equipment this far into high-rank, why not just keep going and push through to G-rank? I said, okay, sure. He's like, I don't... It doesn't bother me. He said, we can go for all the parts that you need, but you're, there are some monsters you're going to have to hunt by yourself. And if, I haven't unlocked it in the story yet because we're still playing through the story. Clearly, we're going and <clears throat> doing the uh, online hunts, but... Some of the materials and monsters we actually got to fight. We got to go through the story. So, yeah. Well. Uh, yeah, two feints. Might have to restart this quest, but that's alright with me. I'm seeing if uh, Skullbot wants to restart. I'm gonna give him some of the items. I feel bad for just taking them. Let's see if we'll take him. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. No, he won't. Well, he offered. I offered it to him. We got Blast Blade. Um, so what Blast Blade is, is if we get hit by another attack, and we have the Blast Blade status, um, we'll do additional damage, and I mean a lot of additional damage, especially since it's an Elder Dragon. Teoster actually has a mate called, um, uh, called Lunastra. I don't think Lunastra is in this game. I believe you can get the armor, though. And in Monster Hunter World, Lunastra was, Lunastra was added as a DLC uh, monster. And everyone hated Lunastra just because of how miserable of a monster it was. So they all made a goal to legitimately try and kill as many of them as they could because they hated it so much. So yeah. <laughs> Don't get in the way of Lunastra. Lunastra in World is a miserable fight. It's in, it's it's funny because everyone hates it, but it's it's so bad. Hmm. Almost choked on a saltine there. That would have been bad. If we can beat this, we only got one more quest to do before G rank. Well, two more, I should say. There we go. Is 
Hey, Oster earned my full attention, Skullbot says. Did he make you angry? I wonder if he made him angry. Probably. There we go. Skullbot, yes, but then he gave me a gem, so it all balances out. Oh yeah. Way of the hunter. Got a time worn uh charm. What do we get? Recoil plus one. Eh, we could honestly turn that into something else if we really need to. Longest Teostra was found. And that's our first Teostra we actually fought in the game. So nice. Okay. Put these items away. Oh. I put away things I didn't want to put away. Uh, I want to get those back out. Uh, get this. Okay, give me a second. I'm getting a message on Discord. Give me a few minutes. Someone was asking for, a ten for help with something, and I said, give me a few minutes. I got... Missions to accomplish. And I believe I just opened Minecraft on accident. Oops. Cancel. 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 Ah. Okay. Oh, give me a second. Minecraft just launched up. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> All right, here we go. And I believe the last quest is called Advanced Stormfront. Yes, it is. There we go. <clears throat> and we're all set. Feline weakener. Yay. Mm hmm. -hmm. Okay, and we're already. After my commanding officer bursted, uh, busted me for enlisting something. I don't know, I couldn't read the rest. Alright, so we're here. We're gonna have to head all the way down this way. No, we gotta go the other way. Uh, we gotta make it to... Yeah, the area down here. I'm pretty sure. Yep, I might be right. I might be right. We gotta head down to area three. Yep. So this is uh, Kushala de Ora. In Monster Hunter World, it was sort of an annoying fight to go against. Um, annoying Elder Dragon, I should say. But in Rise and uh, yeah, in Rise, they actually made the fight a heck of a lot better, and a lot of people really enjoyed the fight. I thought we could have mounted that, but I was wrong. Kushala Dior is the Wind Pressure Dragon. It loves to use Wind Pressure to knock foes back, like you see right there. It will create massive tornadoes, and depending on where the envi where it is in the environment, um, that will determine where, you know, or how powerful it is. It is very, or excuse me, how powerful the tornadoes are. If it's in... If it's in the um, the win the winter, or it's in like a snowy environment, tornadoes will turn and become uh, like a nice tornado. If it's in a, fi a fire area, it will be a fire tornado. 
And we mounted it. Good. As I said, in Rise, it became a really, really fun fight. And I remember uh, in World fighting Shaladiora. And I remember going against it, and I went against the Arch Tempered version of the Pushaladiora. It was really fun. It was awesome. I enjoyed it. Okay, we gotta get um, that back. Yeah, wind pressure. Yay! I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. I might remember it later. Oh, yeah, 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 I, f I remember now. Kushala Dior is extremely weak to poison, and I mean incredibly weak. So keep that in mind. And we're bouncing off, so that's cool. Golbot has Ice Blight. Okay. There we go. Subquest completed. Uh, if you actually do manage to hit uh, Kushala Deora in the head, it is going to knock that monster down a lot. The monster is easily knocked over, so I have to see what we're doing and what Skullboy is doing. Come on, come on. Come on, don't roar, don't thrash, don't, 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 Oh, we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. No! Yeah, we didn't make it. Oh, well. Hmm. Shiny. And it's running away. And it's weak as well. Easy. Yeah, Skullbot's like no escape. All these are Elder Dragons and you are not able to capture them. You have to slay them. So yeah, there we go. I think this is gonna be my, my last hunt for the, uh... Yeah, this is gonna be my last hunt for this video. Um, because we have a special hunt coming up next. And Skullbot's actually gonna help me with this hunt, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'm really, 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 really excited for it. I wonder what materials we got as well. Okay. A time worn charm. Elder Dragon Blood, I'll take that. Ooh. Ooh, potential plus six. Oh, that's nice. The longest Kushala Deora. So we got a crown Kushala. I'll take that one. That's nice. And there we go. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. So, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you guys in the next episode, where we do a very special quest. I'm excited, and I hope you guys are too, because it's going to be really cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let me eat. Give me a second. Wait. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a fantastic day. God bless.